Alright. Hello everyone, my name is Blackfire2000, and welcome to Lego Ninjago Tournament. Alright, this is a game that I have not played in a long time, due to other things. Um, and since I, I couldn't get a Contest of Champions video upload, because my audio cut out again, and it stopped. Uh, my connection just went buggy after, yeah, as I was recording. Hopefully the audio won't cut out on this one this time. But, yeah. But anyways, this is a LEGO Ninjago game in which you get to use one of several characters from the LEGO Ninjago series up until um, Season 4 of the Tournament of Elements. Um, and you fight a whole bunch of characters in the ring of Master Chen's turn in the ring of Master Chen's tournament. Now I have not played this game in a long time because I have been doing other things. Go ahead and do all. Of, uh, let's go ahead and use up all these abilities. Uh, but basically, oh, and there are challenges. Okay, so combo mania, voice your opinion, the master of light. Okay, so basically, it's not. There's really not much to the game. Basically, what you, hey, hey, all you're doing is just beating up a bunch of random, uh, 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 a bunch of uh, enemies in the game. Name ad nauseum. Do a bunch of. Um, Rounds, and you just and you, you can just keep going in this and this this way until you decide that you want to quit, because the gameplay is um infinite. I guess you could say. Uh, you can just keep going and going and going and going and going for however long you want, and um. Just continue beating up on you guys. Uh, if you want, you can also complete challenges in this arena, which I have not taken a look at yet. Alright, 3, 2, 1, fight! So I'm using coal from this season tournament of elements. Alright, so here we're gonna. But do we have challenges here as well? So, single challenge is coming, maybe. Each coming multiplier of 12. What's your opinion? Defeat six enemies with a shadow build, a special ability. Uh, each champion, or each character, sorry, not champion. We're not playing Contest of Champions. Uh, we're playing like a Java tournament. But each character in the game has their own special abilities. Uh, the ninjas obviously have Binjutsu. Uh, certain other characters have ability called uh, Skydrop. Then there's um, Shout, which is basically a really loud screech that destroys opponents. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Uh, there's a bunch of others as well. Um, and then the Polish Challenge is to be a Master of Light, as a, a, aka Pale Man, from the Avatar Metal Bones series, or season. Some of these... Uh, the, thing about, uh, the thing about some of the characters is that they're... It's like with cold, the swings are not very fast. But yeah. You basically have your main. It's a simple. It's a very simple game, really. You got your main controls: the D-stick, uh, the attack button, which I'm hitting right now. Oh, uh, the shield button, which I forgot to use. You got your jump button, and you can hit. You can hit jump once, or you can hit it twice for a double jump. You got your grab button. Uh, and then you got your special attack button, which in Cole's case would be Spinjutsu! Shade, the master of shadow. Alright, so. Alright, so I'm playing the single challenge. 
I probably won't be able to complete now the um the daily challenge. Ow. Ah, see I blocked that guy. Ow. I didn't block that time though. Okay, I got some hearts though. Or a heart. Smack you. Oh, I can with his shadow minions. See, that's the thing about shade in, the, in this game as opposed to the, um, the, that's the one thing about shade in the game as opposed to the season, the tournament of elements. It's, in tournament of elements season, all shape could really do was just was just disappear into the shadows. Um, but in the game, Shade can disappear into the shadows and make shadow clones of himself. Which honestly, I'm not entirely sure how that works, but you know what? Whatever. The one advantage about Cole's wide swings and very slow swings is that. If he like does that little spin thing, he can like hit uh, more than one person at once. So I guess there is an advantage to that, but still. Ah uh, yes, the Titanium Dragon. But yeah, there are bosses in this game, and then there's the there's events, basically. And during events, you get like a random a random thing like this happens. And you have to like, um, I guess, use that event and, or fight through it. Because the fighter doesn't stop during the event. The fighter just keeps going. But certain things you have to either dodge it or use it. In this case, you have to dodge it. But yeah. So here we have the Titanium Dragon from the uh, Tournament of Elements season, where it was there. Um, but basically what you have to do is try not to get hit by his freeze balls. If you get hit by his freeze balls, then you'll basically... It'll, be, it'll basically slow you down. It won't actually freeze you, it'll just slow you down. Alright, here we have Turner, Master of Speed. That's the one big thing I don't really like about Turner. The one thing I don't really like about Turner is that, like, if you're using other characters that, are, that don't have special two abilities, like Cole, he basically, if you try to use special abilities, he basically grabs you and then you just can't use, and then he just interrupts your special ability and you just have to wait for it to recharge again. Alright, and then of course you can also, like, jump and then hit the attack button and slam. So like, boom. That, which, which works to like, break blocks. And you can grab them too, that works as well. Um, but yeah, it's very sim It's a very simplistic game, but it's tons of fun smashing and all these Legos around. All these Lego guys. Okay, here we have another event, the Condrag Copter. It's not really much, it just drops down those Condrag guys. Condrag, Condrag, ow. I, I, yeah, no, A AI is I, so. Bam, boom. I honestly didn't need to waste spinja too first for those two guys, but whatever. However, I do all I can use it for these guys. The one thing about spinja too, it doesn't really matter if you fully charged up or not. 
you can use it. You can use it as many times as you like until you run out. There you are. There you are, pal man. My boss challenge. Obviously, as in, as if now for anyone who has seen the in, in, in the tournament of all the season knows. Hellman turns invisible. In the game, though, when anybody turns invisible, he throws rocks at you. Ah. Oh, and of course, if you swipe across the screen, you can also dodge. I hate that. Why is it that the boss challenges always have to be hard on the challenges? Ow! Eh. Yeah. That probably was a little bit overkill, but whatever. Alright, now I guess if I want to, I can just keep going for a few rounds. Alright. Oh, my audio just went buggy there for a second. And see if you grab, see certain opponents if you grab them, or actually, all opponents of the Anaconda, you can grab opponents and then, and then you throw them by hitting the grab button again, or, or you can grab them and then hit the attack button, and, and yeah. But yeah, it's, as simplistic as this game may be, ow, see this is the, um, This is the Dojo Showdown. Now, what I like to do for the Dojo Showdown is go around and find these punching bag thingies and destroy as many of them as I can before they disappear. And get studs out of them. Ow! Oh look! Spin, spin token. Spin tokens you can use like when you first log on to the game after a certain day. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't really say after a certain day, but you know. If you log on daily and you can and use those spin tokens for this daily prize draw, I guess you could say. What am I doing? Spinjutsu, these crackheads. These st stone knuckleheads. Ash, master of smoke. Alright. Boom, pal.
Ow. He just threw a smoke cloud at me. He just threw a smoke bomb at me. What the heck? I don't remember that. I guess it all comes as close to not having played the game in a long time. Oh, see, now he does that. See, this kind of makes it hard to see sometimes. It's all, it all fades. Uh, my audio is going a little buggy. It's probably, the, it's probably recording. It's probably the recording that's going to be buggy. In which case, I'm probably going to lose the audio on this thing. Crap. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, hopefully not. Honestly, grabbing them and, and smacking them is probably the best way to get around blocks. That or using special attacks like Spin Jitsu! Well, technically, they should have just. Technically, they should have had it where, like, instead of Spin Jitsu popping up on the screen, they should have had it like Ninja Go. Because, you know, that's how. That's how the ninjas has to do it when they in the in the series. And says, they don't say spin jitsu. They yell ninja go And then they just spin around in a tornado of elements. Oh now there we have the boulder blaster. But this is technically the vehicle that Cole made well Cole and Jay made to escape. This is the vehicle that Cole and Jay made to escape Chen's underground noodle prison thing. That was being used against me in this. Which I do not like at all. And I do not like my audio messing with me. Okay. Problem. But yeah, just like with the tournament showdown, I like to break things. Because occasionally the, the, the thing will drop down. Um, occasionally the, the boulder blaster will drop down. Um, Crates, with which I can break, and then get studs out of. Okay, so here we have Miro, Master of Mind. Now Miro has a little thing that he does, which is honestly very, very, very annoying. And I will show it to you when he gets to it. If he does it, there it is. The mind blast thing. And this is the one way to know. Especially the sound it makes. And the sound is still going, I think. Or no. Maybe I'm just imagining things. There's my audio being. There's my audio acting funny with me again. Let's see to this creep. Stop that. Now the thing with bosses is that you can't grab them. Ah! I hate that ability.
Alright, maybe I'll do like a few more rounds and see if I can get... One more... Maybe I'll do a few more rounds and then I'll stop it for now. My audio keeps messing with me anyways. I'm starting to wonder if I'll even get high audio for this recording. But the Chondra guys, you can hit them and then... You can hit them, grab them, and hit them, and grab hit them, and then they'll get dizzy, but, you know, with other guys, you can grab hit them, and then they won't get dizzy, so I don't understand how that works, but, you know, whatever. Ah, my stupid audio. I'm gonna have to stop this eventually because my audio is messing with me and I'm gonna have to check to see if my audio didn't cut out on me, which probably did, and I don't know why I'm even recording this anyways, if it did. Alright, there's the Boulder Blaster again. Yeah, I don't have to... I don't really have to I have to stop this and to check the audio of that I'll have to go down. Well, maybe after the Boulder Blaster is finished. Ow! You stupid bone guy. I hope you die. Audio keeps messing with me. Oh yeah, and there's also these nice little gongs over in the uh, in these side corners of the arena too. And uh, sometimes I like to grab my pawns and do this to them. I throw them right through the gong, and it just makes a fun sound. And it's just so much fun. Eh. Yeah, my audio keeps messing with me. I'm getting sick of it. Yeah, Anaconda boss Anaconda Ion bosses are the one character are the are a few groups of characters in this game that you cannot grab. I mean Anacondras I can understand. Because you know they got the tails and you can't exactly lift them up. So that'll just be that would just look weird. But Carla. Master of Metal. Why does Karloff do that? I've always wondered about that with Karloff in the game. Because every time Karloff comes down, um, he does this little wah wah thing. Oh, look at that. Shit. Oh yeah, I think Harloff does that. But sometimes when he turns metal, he becomes, becomes invincible. And then he does this! Yee! He shockwaves the ground. And that And that's really kinda scary. And if you hit by it, you're pretty much toast. Bleh. Hey! <laughs> now, if you stay close enough to him, he won't do the shockwave thing, but he won't become invincible. So you can't attack him until it wears off. <laughs> ah. Spin jutsu your ass. Sorry. I apologize to all you Ninjago fans listening in. That is not the language that Ninjago uses. No tolerance. Because, you know, Ninjago is a kid show. But, you know, I like Ninjago just as much as anyone. So, 
excuse me for liking a good show. That's pretty much what it is. Well, uh, it's a family friendly show, but you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's still fun. And everyone watches it. Alright? So don't judge. Besides which, they're still airing it on Cartoon Network anyways, which is mostly a, a channel for those teen shows. So, what's the big difference? It's My audio keeps messing with me though. I'm probably gonna lose I'm probably I probably already lost my lost the audio for my recording at this rate. Okay, well I'm gonna finish up this round and I'm gonna leave this episode here. <sighs> this has been fun. I've pretty much taken out every boss except for Chen and Ronin. Uh, and Ronin, actually, for those of you who don't know, is a boss guy that the ninja encounter in, I guess, some Ninjago special? But I've never even seen it on DVD, nor do I know anything about it. I think it's like a exclusive. I was think I think you get like get in an exclusive game in Iron Clips or something. I don't know. I don't know where he. I don't know where to find him. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully my audio won't have the. Hopefully this thing won't have lost the audio for the recording. Um, but anyways, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, hit the. Subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Uh, give me a like, that would be nice too. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Hopefully. Bye bye!